so in today's video we are going to learn about the thoracic vertebra if you see this red color structure these are the thoracic vertebra how you will identify that look at the spine of the thoracic vertebra as you will go downside this will become oblique and oblique this is the one identification feature of the thoracic vertebra another one if you will see they either side they are connected with the ribs head of the ribs to form the costo vertebral joint and also some portion of the ribs that will attach to the costal facet on the transverse process of the thoracic vertebra to form the costo transverse joint now see the classifications classification of the vertebra according to the features the thoracic vertebra are classified under two categories number one typical number two atypical what are the typicals typical vertebra are second to eighth okay typical means all these vertebras are having the same features that's why we call them typical thoracic vertebra what are the numbers second to eight what are the atypical thoracic vertebra first and 9th 10th 11th and 12th these are the atypical vertebra means they are having some different features that's why they are different from the typical thoracic vertebra now what are the features we are going to see in the picture now so this is the picture of the typical thoracic vertebra first we will identify the features of the typical thoracic vertebra and then we will move on the atypical thoracic vertebra so here you will see the body of the thoracic vertebra so body if you will see it, it is a heart shaped body okay and on the side of the body in this picture you can imagine this is the upper border this is the lower border this is the anterior surface and posteriorly we are having the posterior surface of the body of the vertebra so first thing we have to identify the body of the vertebra okay that lies anteriorly and what you will observe in the body near the upper border you are going to see this facet this is known as the superior coastal facet okay this is near the upper border and this will attach with the same corresponding rib suppose this is the third thoracic vertebra so it will attach with the third rib near the lower border again you will find out half facet that is the inferior coastal facet it means there are two coastal facet superior and inferior then continuation of the body this part we call it as pedicle there are two pedicle right and left pedicle and pedicle will continue as the lamina okay so this is known as the lamina of the vertebra and two lamina fuse to form the spinous process okay and at the junction of the pedicle and the lamina you will see there is a transversely running process and that is known as the transverse process okay this is the transverse process and anterior aspect of the transverse process you will find out this facet and this is known as the transverse coastal facet so this will form the costo transverse joint with the rib apart from this you will identify this is the superior articular process and the inferior articular process along with their facets okay you will find out the facet on the superior and the inferior articular process observe the spinous process of the thoracic vertebra so it lies obliquely direction of the spine is obliquely so this is also you can identify the thoracic vertebra by the oblique spine also you will observe there is a inferior vertebral notch and the superior vertebral notch inferior vertebral notch is deeper as compared to the superior vertebral notch now we will see the atypical thoracic vertebra what are the features of the atypical thoracic vertebra number one t1 thoracic vertebra if you see the features it is looking like a a cervical vertebra if you see the superior articular facet it is rounded and it is having the one demi facet on the 
near the lower border of the vertebral body okay and you will observe the deep superior vertebral arch okay this vertebral arch is there that is deep and spine is looking nearly horizontal spine is nearly horizontal what are the features of the t9 thoracic vertebra t9 thoracic vertebra is having only the superior costal facet okay we call it as demi facet only you will see the superior costal demi facet near the upper border t10 thoracic vertebra is having the only oval shape facet near the upper border now see the t11 vertebra in the t11 vertebra also you will find out a single single facet single circular facet that is more toward the pedicle even in the 12th vertebra also you will find out rounded single facet toward the pedicle and what you will observe in the 11th and the 12th vertebra there is no costal facet on the transverse process in the first one you will see the costal facet on the transverse process in t9 also and t10 also but there is no costal facet on the transverse process of the t11 and t12 in this picture also you can identify the atypical thoracic vertebra this is the first one you will identify only one single facet is there and one half demi facet on the lower side t9 vertebra you will see only the one demi facet on the near the upper border of the body on the 10th vertebra there is a single facet 11th also there is a single facet and 12th also there is a single facet near the pedicle okay and you will observe there is no costal facet on the transverse process of the t11 and t12 now we'll see the ligaments you will observe the anterior longitudinal ligament which is running anterior to the body of the vertebra okay and also you will observe the radiate ligament which is going from the body to the head of the ribs there is a superior costo transverse ligament it is extending from the upper border of the rib to the transverse process there is a inter transverse ligament between the two transverse process and there is also lateral costo transverse ligament you will observe here lateral costo transverse ligament this part from the lateral side of the rib to the transverse process so this is about the osteology of the thoracic vertebra